Hey, good morning. This is Stephanie. Welcome to our 7 a.m. Les Mills Grit. We've got a little description in there. I would highly recommend just taking off your shoes, taking off your socks, and going barefoot. Um, it's a little bit more quiet, um, and you are more than welcome to modify things as we go. If there's something that's jumping, I would love for you to think about landing lightly, especially in your burpees in and outside of this class. Um, we can also step back instead, and those are just examples. Feel free to modify as we go, but I am also gonna try to give you some options here. I'll get the music started in just one second, um, but I wanted to have a little personal note real quick. Today is my nephew's seventh birthday. Um, so happy birthday to Connor. And right before this, I was looking up Pokemon Go backgrounds to download for our Zoom party later. So you can do that. Check that on out. Anyways, let me get the music running for those on. If you can give me like a thumbs up or something so I can know that you are hearing it pretty well. And yeah. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining on this Thursday. Get my Bluetooth on a little bit louder. All right, so we're pretty good there. All right, I'm gonna step back in a second. I would love for you to take up some space on your mat. And in about 10 seconds, we're gonna get started with our warm up. So thank you, friends, for joining today. Oh, it's a little loud. Okay. So, starting with our warm up, I want you to jog in place. Now, light on the feet, pump your arms. And just have a good time with it. As we continue to jog in place, give me about five more seconds. In two, in one, give me high knee runs. So, lifting those knees up nice and high. I'm switching my audio there. So, knees are up to about hand tight. Now, a low impact option. Reach and pull, squeezing nice and tight. Reach long with the hands, high with the knees. Keep that going. Doing great. We have another move. It's our squat burpee. What you're going to do is come down, jump those hands, put those hands down, jump those feet out, and go right back to that squat. We're always staying low. Out and in. We're doing great. All right. Let's come to a push up position. Either kneeling or leg straight, lowering that chest down and up. I like elbows in. My dog likes to turn you in there. Down and up. You're doing great. Squeeze that belly, keep that back flat. For about four, three, two. Let's pop one up. And guess what? Back to those high knees. Use those hands as a marker or use them to help. Alternative option. Big range of motion. If we're doing the lower impact option, move your arms more to get that heart rate up. You're doing great. We're gonna shuffle tap. Shuffle inside your back. Take the ground. First, you might join us this morning. Try to keep your chest up on that shovel. We're gonna have an interesting one. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's come to our mat. Burger space. I want you to squat. Come to a heel raise. You are more than welcome to stay here. Or squat. Take flight. We're doing great. Squeeze that belly nice and tight. Next option, tap the ground, tap your heels. Tap the ground, tap the heels. Again, low impact option, step and lift. We can still tap the ground. So, either jump in, try to tap your heels at the top. You can reach, tap the ground in between. Just a few more seconds. Doing great. In three, two, one, take a stop, lunge back. For now, a little slow and controlled. Chest stays tall. Low impact option is to stay right here. Do what you need to do for balance. If we like, if we're ready, jump this lunge. So one leg back and the other back. Or you can go right in between. Good. Oh, my furniture moving. All right. Give me one more, take a little break. I'm gonna pause the tunes. You may quickly grab some water. Next up, we have Tabata style intervals. What that will be, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Just three moves, that's all you need to know for now. All right, can you see Brewski on my couch now? Oh, he's on the other edge. Anyways, music is on. First 20 second interval is that high knee sprint, running, or that reach and pull. Make it big with those arms. The music will count us in. 
Take your deep breaths. You hear a sweet voice come up. Five, four, three, two, High one. Run, Use your arms as a marker or lift it on up. Again, low impact option, big reach and pull. Just 20 seconds. So all the way through. Up, up. Three, two, one. All right, there's your 10 second break. Second move, mountain climber. Hands beneath the shoulders, driving the knee in. Three, nice and quick. Two, Ready, set, one. go. Push down through your fingertips. Try to keep with your pace. Down, back flat. Good, good. Three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. Third move. And you'll see all three moves again. Just breathe. Three, two, one. Third move is a squat jump. What I want you to do is squat, get those knees high. Start adding that tuck jump. Alternative option, squat, plus squat, heel raise. So we can squat, squat, heel raise. Or three, squat, get those three, knees up. One. Keeping those three moves in mind. We rewind, we go back to move number one, which I already forgot, three, which is our high two, knees. One. Go. This is our second round of all three moves. Can you pick up the range of motion? For the speed. Let's go. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers next. 20 seconds all the way through the end. Get those hands Three, beneath those shoulders. Two, one. Go. Go quick. Come on. Those finger pads down. Three, two, one. Quick breath. Squat jumps or squat regular stand. Squat heel raise. Last Three, round. Two, one. In the squat jump, I want both sets of knees bent. So in the squat, also in your tuck. Second option is to squat regular stand. Squat heel raise. Regardless, squeeze the cheeks. Push through. Three, two, one. And you made it. Good job. That's the end of this track, so let me pause it right as it ends. Thank you so much for that one. You've got some more coming up. Next, it's just one little choreographed move. Our goal is to stay on the beat of the music. If you have a long mat, imagine it like one of those agility ladders we're gonna be jumping in and out of our agility ladder to the beat with this one. I'll get started and show you the moves. No matter what you it's going to be three little jacks plus one surfer turn. So it's three, two, one, one turn. Make sure you're alternating ways. Picture that agility ladder. We're gonna be jumping in and out of those spaces. Four, three. Two, one. Three jacks. And one turn. Sorry. Three, two, one. One turn. I was off beat. Three, two, one. Okay, now you jump through one place. Let's move it up for three, two, one. One turn. Move it back. Keep alternating up. Turn and back. Now let's take two rounds up. You gotta really save the space on your mat. Two rounds back. And turn, keep and quick. Two rounds forward. One jump, turn. Two rounds backwards. Be light on your feet. Let's stay in place for three, two, one. Jump, turn. Squeeze your obliques in that surfer jump. Three, two, one. Again, three. Three, two, one. Good job. Take a few deep breaths. If you want, quickly grab 
some water. Oh. Pause that. Our next little bit is going to be three moves in a chunk. So 30 seconds of one move, 30 seconds of the second, 30 seconds of the third. So that's a minute and a half. You can definitely manage that. So I will tell you the moves as we go. Take your big breath in. Let me make sure that I'm playing the right tunes here. All right, my friends, back it up to your mat. We're gonna start with some jumping side to side. That's loud. We're going to do some squat jumps and then we're gonna do some jumping plus in turns. When I say side to side, think of one in each turn. Into the soft on your knees. Now we are first move, then a squat jump or a squat heel raise. And then our final move is the jump plus that inchworm crawling out, crawling back. Don't worry. Starting with the 180 squat jumps. Four, three, two, one. Now bend your knees. Land soft. Do what you can to not disturb your neighbors or the furniture that is immediately next to you. Bend your knees. Keep that chest tall in that squat hill. You're doing great. You'll hear a little beep. It's a more quiet one though. Okay, that was it. Now you have squat, jump. Try to get low, but slightly above that knee height. Alternative option, down, heel raise with that reach. Either way, just 30 seconds. I advise moving to the back of your mat for move number three. All right, move three, one jump. Crawl out for that inchworm, crawl back, and jump again. Crawl out, crawl back. 30 seconds, so make it quick. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. All right, quick break. Three new moves. Catch your breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Three move, new moves. We're gonna jump side to side in a lateral jump, then hop, and then what is our third move? We're gonna do some skaters. So starting on one side of the mat, we're gonna jump to one side. Give you a reach, jump to the other. Use your arms, make it light. Move two builds right off of this one. You're just gonna add a tuck jump or knee raise both legs at the end. So think leap, tuck jump, or leap, one, two. Doing good. Third move, mountain climber. Bring it down. Just 30 seconds. Hands beneath the shoulders. Squeeze it in. All the way through. Squeeze your core. You got this. Three, two, one. Not done yet. Been halfway through. Back to our first three moves. 180 squat. Squat jumps. And then what was our third move? The jump with the inchworm. All right, 180 jumps. We're stepping. Try to land low, land soft. Ball the foot, then to the heel. Challenge your legs. It's only 30 seconds of work. Come on. Arms as needed. Squat jump. First option is squat with a heel raise or pushing off, ball your butt. Land soft so you don't move furniture like I just did. Good job. Squat that interim coming up. So jump, inchworm, bring it back, jump again. Here you go, finish these 30 seconds. One. I almost always finish that one, not all the way. Second set of moves, starting with our lateral leaps, then lateral leaps plus jumps. I'll face this way. Third move is mountain climber. Go to one side, one. then the other. Four, three, 
breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We have a few more tracks. What would this be? Track five out of 10, the last one being our ab track. Don't worry, they're quick. Some of them are like a minute or so. Anyways, this next track is not, it's about five minutes. Don't worry, there are breaks. We're gonna have a ladder type drill. We're gonna do two or start with two of each of the following moves. First move is gonna be a burpee plus a clap. So I want you to jump out in, up, low impact option, be light with your feet, step them back. That's move one. Move two is push-ups. I like elbows in, trying to get chest to deck. Alternative options, elbows slightly out, knees down as well. So that's all you need to know for the first half. We're gonna start with two burpees, two push-ups. Four burpees, four push-ups. Six and six, so on and so on. Music's on, let's get back to the mat. Jump back, then jump up, then push ups. Two, four, six. Hopefully, you're finishing ten by our halfway point of this track. So, we switch up. That's your goal. Jump down to seven. If you lose track where you are, just keep building each round. You'll be fine. It's like 7 15 in the morning, anyways. We don't have to perfect with numbers. All right. Three seconds, two of each. Two burpees with that clap at the end push-ups. Now you're more than welcome to pick up your pace. Go faster or change your pace, go slower. Now you have four of each. Don't forget that jump at the end because we have a different burpee at the second half of track. It is now four and four. Lower those knees as preferred. Now it's six and six for me. Come on. Let's keep moving. Squeeze that core tight. Burpees plus clap, followed by push ups. I'm on my eight and eight. Here we go. In this burpee, it's just that quick jump back and that jump up. Push all the way through. Push-ups, here we go. Come on. Do it, 10 and 10. All the way, the music will tell us when to stop. Keep pushing. Come on, go quick. the cut out, the clap out of the burpee. Just jump back and in. We're gonna start with 10, then 10 lunge jumps. So it's just down, out, in and up. 
Lunge jumps are switching your leg. Gentle tap to the ground. Four, three, Ten burpees. Two, one. Go. Just down and out and stand it. You do not have to jump at the end of this one. Extra ball starts if you would want, if you'd like to. We're starting with 10 of these. 10 jump lunges, that's both legs included. Then you drop down to eight, six, four, and two. I want you to continuously move until the music stops. Squeeze that butt on that stand. After my 10 burpees, 10 either lunge step backs or jump. You can use those hands as needed. Two, one. I got eight, eight. Just standing at the end of the heartbeat, all the way through. You've got this land light on feet. After eight burpees, and eight either step lunges or jump lunges. Move quick. Oh, six and six of each. Here we go. Come on. Spin all the way up in between. The nice tight glute, glute squeeze. I have six jump lunges. Open your head. Four burpees, four lunges for me. Come on. Make it easier, right? Kind of. Let's finish this with the track. Three, two, or not. One. You did great, though. Take a big breath. I'll pause this. What we have next, we're done the ladder. We're going to do a pretend relay. So, in the back of your mind's eye, we're going to pretend that we're in a team building setting where we're going to do one move for one minute and the opposing group would be doing another move and then we'd switch. But right now, COVID reality, it's me and my mat here. So what the moves will be, let me make sure I got this right. All right, you wanna keep your chest up. We're gonna take a lateral shuffle, about three shuffles to the side, tap the ground. I want you to stay low in that athletic stance. That's move one. Move two, plant your feet slightly wider than the hips and pulse squat for that whole minute. Then we go back to move one. After a baby break, we take on move two. Beautiful. Sideways on your mat. Make sure you're not going to get any foot tripping on the mat. Oh. Push will count us in. It's going to be about two minutes of back to back work, a baby rest, and then again. I'm going to start on the side of my mat. Keep the chest up in that shuffle. Keep those knees bent in that athletic stance. Keep your chest up even on that tap. I want you to keep your knees bent, your butt down, even on that shuffle. It is just one minute. I want, I need us to execute here. This is our track like six or seven. That goes a little bit. Let's go. Shuffle tap for the full minute. Chest up when you tap. All right. We're done minute one. Up next. Actually, that was 30 seconds with the bell. So keep the shuffle tap. Now we're done minute one. Right into it. Pulse squats. In this pulse squat, the arms back. The knees are right on top of the ankles. Commit to challenging your yourself to go lower. Just squeeze that belly. You can get a baby break for this, for the legs after this. Pulse squat. Good. That's 30 seconds down. Less than 30 seconds to go from like right here. Keep the pulse squat, burn those legs. Come on. One. Quick shake. We're gonna see all those lovely things again. <sighs> shake out those legs. We start with our little shuffle tap relay coming up. When she counts us in. One more work drill after this, the abs. Four, three, two, shuffle tap. One. 
Knees bent, chest up. Last minute of shuffle taps. Here you go. Think of your chest as parallel to that wall that might be surprisingly super close in front of you. Or furniture. That's 30 seconds down. Less than 30 seconds to go. See if you can pick up your pace. Commit to that depth. One. Pulse squats. I know from last time. You might have some negative memories. Let's get over it. Let's push through. You can speed up your pulse. You can lower the pulse. Do what serves you best. Chest up. Belly braced. Do it again. Keep the pulse in. That's 30 seconds. You know what's to come. 20 more seconds. Come on, come on. Three, two, yeah, lie down. Quick leg shake. Woo. Exit on the music. Not class just yet. We have another drill. Let me give it a quick pause once it starts up that track. Next drill. Tabata style, but a bit longer. That means you get the reward of a longer break. 30 seconds of work. 15 seconds off, three moves again. They're really into the, the triplets today. So last working track, the one after this is abs, and then I'll send you on your merry way. Hopefully you're sweaty and energized for work today. Okay, I got the music on, right? I hit, okay. First move is an X squat. You're gonna cross the arms, tap opposite foot, chest up, lift up, adding that heel raise. Second move will be a mountain climber. And I'll talk about the third move when we get there, because it's a while's way. She'll count us in. If you're able to make more noise today, go for jumping jacks instead of the squat reach. So it's down, reach for the heels. Keep that chest up. My feet are slightly wider than the hips. Again, it's just 30 seconds of work. Other option. Jumping jacks, perhaps stepping side to side jacks. Remembering that great range of motion with your arms and legs in these low impact options. You get a baby break after this, so push for it. Squeeze everything on the lift. Come on. Reach and up. Three, two, one. 15 seconds to get to the floor for mountain climbers. Bounces in. Try to stay to the beat, try to stay quick. Squeeze the belly. Three, two, one. Go. It's fast, let's go for it. One, two, one, two, come on. Keep that neck straight, look in front of your fingers. One, two, one, two. Three, two, All the way to the end. One. Done. Next move. For a higher impact, if you're okay with the noise, it's squat two jumps or squat, squat raise. Actually, I want that to be a squat Three, leg kick. Two, so it's either squat two quick jumps or squat leg kick, flexing your foot. I want a full. Squat when you sit back. Option two. Another sure she's a little too late today. Is squat two tucks. That's where your leg on your feet. It's quick, quick. With the squat kick, move your arms. Here we go. We're doing great. Any movement is good movement here. Two, one, one. 15 second rest. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In these intervals, go as hard as you can in the 30. You get to rest in the 15 seconds. Second round. Three, X squats two, or jacks. One. Go. Move hard. Move quick. Reach, lift. One, one. Just three moves. It's like a minute and a half total. We have the breaks in between. Chest up, friends. Lift those heels up the lift. Try to keep to a good pace. 
Hands beneath the shoulders, belly locked in. Speed, go. down into a plank position on our mat for our core track. Roll out your wrist, catch your breath. I have you crooked. That's just the way I feel today. Is that more straight? Thank you for your patience with my hands. We're gonna have a plank position hovering one knee to one elbow, then back, and then we'll switch sides. I want you to squeeze the belly. Straighten up those legs in the plank or onward plank behind you. Starting with the right knee, we're going to windshield wiper in. In, out, in, step it back. Left knee, in, out, in, step it back. I need your back to stay flat. Try to move those legs as far as your hip range of motion allows. Two, one. This also reminds me of fire hydrants. Think opposite, same opposite. Again, opposite, same, opposite. We're keeping with this. For three, two, one. Squeeze your belly. Keep everything flat. The only thing moving will be those legs. And last one, we're going to flip to the back for a bicycle crunch. I'm going to go sideways and hopefully fit in. Laying down on the back. I'm going to go at an angle so I don't kick things. We're going to switch our legs. Three and hold. Switch. Three, two, one. I would love the chin to be separate from the chest, the shoulders should be lifted off the ground. Three, two, one, hold. We can add opposite armpit to knee for three, two, one, hold. Again, that extended leg, just a few inches, maybe a foot above the mat. Three, two, one, and pause, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Again, hold. Three, two, let's hold. Quick pause. All right, feet to the sky. We're going to reverse crunch. You are lifting your tailbone, your low back, your core up to the ceiling. Head can be up, or we can have those shoulders down. Let's give me about three, two, one. All right, hug those knees into the stomach. And tuck the rock from side to side. Let your back press into the mat. We're going to slow things down a lot. Send you on your way. Put that left foot down. Right leg extends up to the ceiling. Grab into the back of your thigh. Point and flex your foot. About three rounds. As you're gently pulling this right leg in towards your body. Hold your own the flex. Pull in a bit more. Let's feel this in the hamstring. And let's bring this foot down. Left leg, shoot that on up. Give me about three sets of a beautiful flex and point. And then I want you to hold it on that flex and gently pull in a bit more. Make sure you're holding onto muscle, not your knee joint. You can feel this in the hamstrings. Keep that back down. All right, slow this up. Let me face you over here. Extend the left leg. Right knee is bent. Left arm gives this right leg a hug. Place the right hand behind you. Give yourself a much needed back twist. Peek over that back shoulder. 
You also take wraps from your stomach, pressing into your legs as opposed to your ribcage. Very quickly, unwind, switch legs, left knee bent, sit up tall, right arm hugs the left leg, reach behind, left hand close to the butt, and keep on and stand on up. I want us to inhale, reach up really tall to the ceiling, plant your feet, exhale, reach up and over to your right side, and stretch in your left side body. Inhale, reach back on up. And exhale. Let's bring this one down, right arm across. Drop the shoulder for a posterior deltoid. Back and shoulder stretch. And switch sides. Left arm, drop it down, hug it in. Finishing with one stretch, one more stretch together. Let's open the chest. Very needed when you price start my work day. So inhale. Open the shoulders. Open across your collarbone. If you can't link the hands together, totally fine. Hold them a little bit further apart. Big breaths in. Big breaths out. Release those arms. Shake out those arms. Shake out those legs. Take them another stretch if you would like. I'll pause our quiet music. And thank you. Thanks to all of you that are watching this now or later. Again, my name's Stephanie. This was our 7 a.m. grit. Equipment needed would be a speaker so you can hear these sweet tunes. A mat and just yourself. I'd go shoeless, I'd go sockless. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. If you want to see some other things or you're like, I'm not sure about this modification to make it quiet enough for my neighbor downstairs, we are here to answer those questions. So put them in those little chat box, the discussion feeds, and we are happy to answer it. So thank you all so much. Have a lovely Thursday and happy birthday to my little nephew. Take care. And goodbye.